This week's podcast is brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den, where you can get all your gentleman's den merch, t-shirts, hats, bandanas, all that wonderful shiz knit. Once again, that is shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. And with that being said, what's a hyphen? On with the show. It's a dash. <laughs> 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 Simple explanation. Oh yeah. Welcome back to the gentleman's time. Jeff, Frankie, myself are all in the den, ready to talk about <laughs> random bullshit. Along with the mascot, young Stewie. Stuart. Look at him. Beautiful pupper. Looks like a stuffed animal. Poppers! Do you, have you guys watched The Mandalorian yet? I would have to have Disney Plus to watch The Mandalorian. They nailed it, bro. Yeah? Did you enjoy it? There is nothing cuter than Baby Yoda. <laughs> Every time he comes on the screen, my heart melts, and I just want to <laughs> pick him up and hold him. I swear to God. You want a Baby Yoda? It's the easy... I mean, all they did with their... like right. The story is good, don't get me wrong, but Baby Yoda just steals the show. I have a I have a question for you that's you could only pick one. Are you taking Gizmo, Baby Yoda or up. Gizmo? Gizmo. Gizmo? I don't know. Gizmo fucks shit up. You can't. He's got a lot of <laughs> rules. It's a lot of rules to follow. No, I would take Baby Yoda because you can't get Gizmo wet. Can't feed him after midnight. Yeah, but if you piss off Gizmo, he can use the for or well, fucking Baby Yoda use the well, force and crush you the your force? fucking throat. Yeah, but he's if he's on your side though, that's the whole thing. The Mandalorian. Spoiler alert. Mandalorian whoa, whoa, fucking. Whoa. Takes him in. I don't want to know. It's kind of like Sean. I mean, who's saving who? Did you save this dog? Or oh, he the saved dog? me for sure. That's the whole story of the Mandalorian. Whole story. The Mandalorian saved Yoda. Don't well, thanks for telling me the whole story. This isn't even the spoiler. Don't they call it the child? They don't call it baby Yoda? Yeah, the child. Who's got the baby? Well, because at that point, he's what, 67? or? Well, he's not. Yeah, he's not Yoda. Just, but people just call him because... Is the Mandalorian before? Four. They don't have a race. It's after after the, uh, I think, the first six. Okay, so, so the Empire is, like, fallen. Ba- so ba- that just means Baby Yoda is a clone. Might be. No one knows. Okay. They don't know. But the Empire wants him. They want him bad. There's so many cliffhangers that they leave you just want more. And I just want to know. And there's no. If you haven't watched it, it's, it's, a, it's Good an watch. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. It's awesome. Make sure I take show. Is the mustache in the way? <laughs> it is. You know what else is uh, happening? My booger broom. <laughs> <laughs> this this might be the last podcast you see with Jeff and Frankie smoking on it. Yes. Yeah. Told I, Frankie, I was done today. He was done. Frankie this showed is up the and last he's like, one. He's like, I got eight more cigarettes. <laughs> Help me finish these. We're, we're, uh, we're I said, all mission. right, this will be the last ride. I'm really going to try. Yeah. No, Good. I mean, I'm done, done. Like. You guys should. Not putting this poison in my body any longer. You guys yeah. should, because you're killing me. After the night. Well, you know. <laughs> How about Tom Brady tonight? Watch, finally. Uh, Tom Brady looked human, finally. Finally. Out of the playoffs. Crazy. Crazy. It doesn't even seem. It, the rest of the playoffs isn't even going to seem real. It's going to be exciting to watch, though, because there's so many different Yeah, now teams. it's like, because it's fair game for anybody. Right, you're not just like, oh, the Patriots are going to win. Who in it? Okay, all right, so Rodgers. I thought about Rodgers and, and, um, Rogers and Drew Brees. I don't think anyone else has won a Super Bowl, have they? That is in the Super Bowl right Russell now. Wilson. Russell Wilson. Oh, he did. Um, okay, so there's three. Jimmy Garoppolo on the bench. Yep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like two rings or something on the yeah, back. Yeah, right oh, that time, bro. He's gonna be racking Yeah, no, up. I do see what you're saying though. No Lamar. No, that first no game, Watson. that Texans game. Was I can't fucking believe exciting. that. Oh, Buffalo Bills did Buffalo Bill type things and shot themselves in the foot and lost the game. Tennessee almost did. They almost that blew a, that just game. A crazy instead game. of going for that field goal. Yeah, that was huge. Some decisions. Tried to fucking seal it. That last move of Watson where he got just sandwiched and spun, spun out, out of it, it. and yeah, then dude. found the guy down the field and he took Who off. Who made a oh nice cut? I was, I was laughing because Mudhead, obviously you guys still follow Mudhead. Put it up, Don't. Put, he, he put it up on there and goes, 
for all of you that play Madden, know exactly what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> you, Watson was in the tackle animation and got stopped up, picked up by the other guy, basically, yeah. and stayed on his feet. It was... Uh, some Madden chicanery. That was some Madden chicanery. That's 100% of Madden. Play. That'll be a highlight for 2020s this decade. Yeah. Is this the first one for the New Year? Happy New Year, Fox, or what? Or, yeah, yeah, Happy yeah. New Year, everybody. Happy 2020, folks. Woo! Shout out to Jade and Nick for hosting uh, the New Year's party, the Roaring Twenties. That was a blast. I got That's fucked up. It was a good time. Yeah, it's shout out, a good shout time. out to their daughter for watching Stu all night. Stuart. Stuart. Young Stu. <clears throat> the lady the lady killer. This little <sighs> bastard. That's why you got him. I got oh him. Oh my god, he's so cute. I got him because I'll, I'll, I'll ask you. I got him because no one fucking put anything in on him. Not one person put one hit on him. So I'm like, fuck that. Well, you that know what? Too they awesome fucked up. There. Missed out. Yeah, they missed out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now you got your. Don't your get me wrong. Baby Yoda. Don't get me wrong. He's a little <laughs> asshole. Potty training's going good though. He's about at eighty percent right now, hitting the puppy pads. Within the next week or two, he'll be outside pissing. Still loading. Be at about a hundred, couple weeks. Hey, yeah, took a nice shit all over your floor earlier. <laughs> he likes dropping them deuces. <coughs> he does, and they're not small for the size of this fucker. His shits are big. Big turd. The big shit. Tom Brady took a shit all over the field today. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no one to throw to though. No, Fuck. it's hard. No, they're Edelman or bust. Pretty much. I mean, Nikhil, it, Nikhil Harry's. I'm fucking. You know, maybe. My biggest problem with them is with the money that they've made with so many Super Bowls and the money that they've had from their fan base that you think that they'd be a top five spending team no. as far as their talent around, and they're not. They and they're build like, through the draft and get low-level free agents that become monsters. Right, but if they would have just paid the $20 million or whatever that they had, or I don't know, $10 million, anything, whatever they had left, they could have put that into one or two more guys that were just a they puzzle piece. They had two piece. guys. Yeah, Josh Antonio, Gordon, Antonio and, Brown. Yeah. You could have seen that was going to go for disaster. <laughs> you know Gordon wasn't lasting long. No. Nah. Because he can't stay off the weed. A lot of people can't. Well, it's like, fuck, man. Just let him smoke weed. It's not like it's a performance-enhancing drug. You right? know what, though? And it's crazy. better than painkillers. Yes, I was going to say. You can have a fucking drawer full of painkillers. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much worse. You, I know you guys aren't hockey fans, but there was this enforcer back in the day named Bob Probert who played for the Red Wings and played for the Blackhawks. And I watched a documentary on him today because it was, it was one of those ones where I just grabbed something to watch. And he uh, booze. He started with booze, and then he got hooked on the fucking – he was taking Oxy-80s. He was like taking six of them at a time. Two questions. You got any Percocets? And stay the fuck yeah. away from my Percocets. <laughs> Great two, fucking movie. Two rules, man. Great movie. It is. Goon. Second one, not so much. So what happened with it? That was the end of the story? He uh, no, he ended up dying of a heart attack. Jesus Christ. On his boat with his family. Well, hey, it's probably the way he would... Well, no, he... Uh, he <laughs> Bob, Bob pushed me into the sea. Bob was yeah. one of the... one of the. Remember back, I mean, back in the early 2000s, there was the goons. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. He was like the goon. He was the man. Yeah, he was, and he and he hated fighting. That was the funniest part about it. And that dude just beat the shit out of people. I don't like it. He was six foot. I mean, when you're six three and two forty on and on skates, so you're like at what seven, almost seven yeah. foot fucking tall. <laughs> fucking crazy. He's fighting dudes like Ty Domi, who was like five eight on skates. <laughs> it's like beating up a midget. This bar can't hold me up anymore. Get it together. <laughs> Frankie's got that new. Illinois is now 100% legal for marijuana. Recreational. Congratulations, Illinois. Yeah. We ring a bell for you. They did do some crazy things like uh, $1.2 billion in sales in the first day, which took... $3.2 million. All right. Yeah, what are you talking about? Billion. <laughs> There was no mm. no B. What? It was an M. Did I say that? Three, yeah, no, yeah. Three point two million. Three point two million in the one point. There we go. One point two billion. Yeah, they bought. So they made the a weed. trillion dollars, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Illinois just bought the moon. Hundred million dollars. It's not that much anymore, Mister Evil. <laughs> Illinois just bought the moon. <laughs> Basically. No, but you know, it's 
five and a half hour line. The problem is, is living in the state that we live in, and living in Wisconsin, our state's run by the fucking Tavern League. Yeah. So any fucking thing. Booze or nothing, bro. Yeah. Anytime <laughs> there's any little talk about legalization in, in Wisconsin, the Tavern League's like, oh, really? Uh, yeah, here, here's something for your pockets. Well, when's it going to be? It's going to be federally legal pretty soon here. It I'll has to it. be. Well, in this decade, maybe? It has to be. I mean, too many states are... Seven, eight years. As soon as it goes it. federally legal, we don't have to worry about shit then. Yeah, so we're all gravy, baby. Gravy, baby. But right now, Wisconsin's like, <laughs> fuck yeah, we're going to pull everybody over with an Illinois plate. Or, oh, yeah. Or There's anybody coming from Wisconsin. Border jumpers. Or coming oh, yeah. from Illinois. Yeah, back and forth. Back, back and forth. They're, they're, I got to drive back and forth. Well, like I said, I'm looking at something like six months, they're going to hit a bunch of tickets. There'll be a bunch of fucking possession tickets. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> after that, the legalization talk will start. <clears throat> They'll make their money on all the fucking tickets and be like, nah, okay. Yeah, but how they'd make way more money in taxing the actual 100%. marijuana. 100%. Yes. But once again, the Tavern League. Because we are the drunkest state in the union, but we had fucking that is true. fifteen of the top twenty yeah. cities. Well, they changed that other law. So I seen this great meme today. It was a cop at the window and some young kids in there, and they were probably like, you know, eighteen, nineteen, and he's like, "I smell cigarettes." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now cigarettes are twenty one. Now you got to be twenty one. So oh, these people God. are. Is that a pack of cigarettes? I was yeah. I was laughing because there was a meme. There was a meme out there that, uh, <laughs> dude, just, there was a meme out there that <laughs> a guy had a scale and one cigarette on, on it. He's like, I got one for three, two for five. <laughs> Try to sell cigarettes. <laughs> Bro, prison, that's, what, that's, their, that's their money right there. Yeah, it's there. currency in prison. Right. Now it's going to be currency in the actual streets. All these 18-year-olds. Hey, Some dude that's blood. 20 years old is going to come up to you on your walk and say, can you buy me a pack of smokes? I, you know what, though? Is, is that, does that do the grandfather law, though? Like when they, you know, when they right, drop Right, what them. if you've been buying cigarettes? You're 19 right now. You're 19. I, I think you're. Know. I think you might be grandfathered in. That's a good question. Ooh, I don't know about that. Because they did that with the drinking age. Yeah. When it was 21, when you were in, if you lived in Wisconsin and had your ID was at a certain point, you didn't just stop drinking at 20. Yeah. Hmm. I think everything should be 18. Why You're not? an adult. If you can go fight for your country. Right. You can go. I mean, World you can War do II whatever, is going to happen anything. pretty soon here, World apparently. War, World War III, World War III. Three, World War II you already. missed Unless it. I missed the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that mustache is taking you back a few years. Maybe. He's waiting for it. No. You know, and I laugh because we're all out of draft age, so I'm not worried about getting drafted. Am I good? You... I thought I'm you were having, having a heart attack fucking a half hour ago. Exactly. I don't think you're going to be getting drafted anyway. There's no way I'm able to, to be up for those physical activities. I'd make it to the first <laughs> hill, and I'd be like, just I'll catch up. I'll be, I'll meet you up there. There's no fucking way. <laughs> get winded going up two flights of stairs. <laughs> I wouldn't make it through their training protocol. They'd be like, put this guy, he's a cook. Put they, him in the garage, he's fucking <laughs> wrenching. Well, what is the cutoff for the draft? Uh, I think it's 24 or 25. Damn, they want those young bloods, bro. Yeah, yeah the younger the better. You got better stamina. Well, yeah, of course. You want... Stronger soldier. I said it. Stronger soldier. Universal soldier. I didn't say shoulder. <laughs> you did. You did a I good job. I said it in a sentence. You did a really Even good job. Even though it was just real good job. <laughs> you know, it was just two words. I did it. And it was recorded, so fuck yeah. Yeah, the only uh, army games I'm playing is Call of Duty. <laughs> I'll be there. Did you get Modern Warfare? Since you got the no, I got the, night? you know, I got the, just the nostalgia, you know? So the kids got uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Ooh. Ooh. So me and Frankie logged on last night, and we had a little flashback when we were like 22, well, 23. Like 10 years. We were up till 4 o'clock in the morning playing zombies. He's like, I'm, he's like, it's late, but I'm not tired. I'm like... Well, what time is it? He's like four in the morning. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I had no idea. I, I was, was waking up to feed my dog. I was, I was up for like 24 down, hours bro. already. Take a piss. Should have hopped on. We're on level 30. Right? I'm waiting for you. Trying to do the Easter eggs. No. I don't even. I think I fell asleep by playing. I don't know I'm how out. I survived. Maybe. That was fun, I can't man. Do that. It God, was. I had a good time. 
it was a good me- block down memory lane, just I hanging out, talking and bullshitting, and yeah, it, it's something to keep your mind busy while we're just bullshitting. You, you know? can't get crawlers anymore. No, I was upset. no. Anyone who plays zombies, you know, you know. Yeah, if you, you take get a, crawlers. if you take a piss, get a crawler. Like, bro, I think you crawler. need a ray gun though, and then you got to take out their legs. It's the oh, only way. Oh, that's trash. It's the only way. The ray gun's death. Yeah, bro, you're gonna die for sure. <laughs> Getting waxed. Stay away. Stay away from the ray gun. Side. You know what no was nice gun. though is the fact that we just got like eight hours to just hang out. Like, when does that happen? Yeah, it was fun on the line. <laughs> on we the, were on the line too, right? You know, so it's, you know, those are the times. That's what it's for. You get a little bit of time. You don't have to drive out. And I just uh, hope I don't get addicted again. It's inevitable. It's gonna be inevitable. I'm like a zombie fiend. It's I love in- playing the zombie maps. Well, there's so intricate now. There's so much going on. There's too much crazy clue. shit. I have no fucking clue what the hell's going on. There's gobble gums and all kinds of fucking weird shit. Uh, yeah, no, you were pretty pumped last night. Yeah, I was man. trying. I was on fumes. I would work all day. I was up for like a full 24 hours. Yeah, I was TKO'd. I, there's no way I can stay up right now. I ain't getting shit for sleep. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, Until I get this fucking tooth yanked out of my face. It's going to feel better. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Yanked. Mm-hmm. The one thing I hate about these new games is that it's all pay, pay yeah, to play. Yeah, pay this, mm-hmm. pay to like, get I this. I just spent sixty bucks on this game. Whatever happened, you do unlock stuff. Right. Do you remember like unlocking shit like Goldeneye? You would just you would unlock paintball mode, big head mode, golden gun mode. You would just unlock shit. Well, it's, now mic- it's, it's like, all microtransactions. It sucks. Think well, yeah. About, it's think about the uh, elf outfits. That how much did you pay, how much did you spend on Madden the one year, last year? Or the year before? Me? Yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck it. I would check my bank Basically account. a tax return? You spent <laughs> a lot of money. It was basically what I won from fantasy football, which was probably about, like, a G. On a video game. For imaginary <laughs> cards. I know when you say it out loud. <laughs> I know, and it's frustrating. <laughs> but Madden, playing the Madden game, but at the time, it's I didn't so give a fuck. much fucking fun. Right, I had fun doing it. It was, a, it was a pastime. It was, you know what I mean? I had fun hanging out, talking with my friends, bullshit and playing a game. Yeah, I did spend a stupid amount of money, and you know what I mean? But to me, too, that was free money. It was like it was my winnings from fantasy football, which I won again in my two, two of my three leagues I was in this year. Me and Sean fell a little short, but championship, championship. You know what I'm saying? I got so many rings, I don't have enough fingers. But I just <clears> hate <throat> the pay to play. I agree. So and there's some some guy out there. Who, but it doesn't even really benefit you. It sometimes, like a lot of the times, it's you just still got to be good. It's their their outfits. It's but to it get a different help. skin, different clothes for them to wear. It's well, like that's, who fucking cares? That's more like Call of Duty though. And Fortnite, a lot of shit. Fortnite, fucking Fortnite, man. A lot of video games. Oh, I want to buy the new dance. Fuck you. Just play the goddamn game. You don't need to fucking. I know. Dance. I have a hard time. Like the kids get money for Christmas and they want to buy the Fortnite. Oh, look at this new skin came out or this new dance. And it's a waste. It is, and I try and tell them. But if they really, really want it, I, it's I, I'm like, I'm you know, doing. okay. You I'm just letting you know this is this is stupid. I'm like, you remember that Easter Bunny skin you bought for fifteen dollars or whatever the hell it was? Why don't you use that one? Yeah, no, that's in the back burner, bro. I ain't using that shit no more. It's just sad how bad, you know what I mean? People monopolize on money and on capital and shit. Like it was fun when it was just you bought a game. You know what I mean? It was 20 bucks. Yeah, it was a lot of money, you felt like, but it was hours of entertainment. And then they went to 50 Then they went to 60 Now it's like, buy the Elite Edition for $130. Yeah, you get all the maps. Because it like, we're not going to give you, you all the maps right now. Right. We're going to just give you the slow Make an play, objective. You know, some girl blowing in your ear at the club. Right. Just, You're not oh, getting fucked. Oh, that fucking, that new map's coming, don't you worry. But the thing that pisses me off is, like, it used to be where there was an objective in a game, and if you beat the first level, then you got the another level. Or, you know what I'm saying? Right, you unlocked shit. Yeah, and, and that was actually a challenge to make you want to win. It's now you can just put five grand on a video game right, and you got nah, the best of everything. Whatever, I'm good. Fuck the rest of these. I mean, that's just not even fun. But that's the, the only thing I do like about Fortnite is the game itself is free. And it's just the same game. Like, yeah. they keep updating it. So, like, all the skins that you buy, you have forever. Yeah, but the problem is, is when like you... if you buy shit on Madden, when the next Madden comes out, all that shit you put money into, gone. it's gone. Forever. Yeah. 
I, I, I really would. Well, like uh, Rainbow Six has the seasons. Yeah. Which is fun because you can still go on there and play and not. It just sucks because we don't get the time to play together like we used to. So many things are, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 oh, yeah. If you, and if you do get an hour or two, you know what I mean? Someone else is don't get the time or they're busy or they're gone that night. They're going out or. It's rough. It's, it's called being an adult, Frankie. I don't give a shit. I want to fucking have fun time. It is. But it, it's, well, you it, can once in a while. It's just hard. I mean, I got yeah. You know, but even if I we do catch it's time, like, it's we're doing bullshit like this. We're hanging out. We're just having some drinks and yeah. So you that know. was like I said, that was a lot of fun last night. Yeah, it playing was. zombies for like fucking talking about shit, which I wanted eight hours. Uh, we, there's a few different shows we can go to, but in Chicago this year they're having a racetrack where you can go and drive exotic cars supercars like uh, the lamborghini hurricane and the um, mclaren and they got a hellcat they got a That'd gtr and you but get daddy's to go. gotta save some money and for christmas what's the cost I, on that ooh, uh, i believe it's the christmas did me in boys you get three <laughs> laps i think it was per car you get to pick one car three laps 200 bucks so I might go there to drive. Just for like, the experience would be. I mean, two hundred bucks seems like a is, lot of money. But, but it's not. <laughs> the problem is, is all those experience. cars. I can't get in any one of them, motherfuckers. Oh yeah, you could. The new vet I heard is for. Uh, it's for big people. Maybe the new vet. Maybe the fucking. You could fit in a Hellcat. Maybe for the Hell. Sure. Maybe the Hellcat, but I ain't getting in a Lamborghini. GTR. The GTR you'd Nissan fit in. GTR. That'd be fun. I'm down. Yeah, dude, it'll be a lot of fun, and they have three different weekends they're doing it on. So we'll make we'll pick one of them. They that got works one of those uh, badass. Uh, was it like a high speed go kart track down in Chicago? Looks pretty fun. That'd be fucking yeah, cool yeah. to do. I do want to do that. I still is it the F one or whatever? Yeah, it's I've been crazy. there. It's yeah. it's pretty legit. They actually make you wear like fucking racing mask and neck yeah, you get a helmet and all that and, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. Because it's saying you you know. They do like 40. Go kart track. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big ass go kart track. I'm in. And you could Sign actually you could actually drift those cars a little bit around the corner. It's pretty saying. fun. It's Just not like the, go -kart. it's not like the Dells with us hammered drunk slamming no. into each other. <laughs> the best is when that chick's purse went all over the fucking track. Why would you bring it on the track? I don't know. I don't know when that one little kid fucking head butted the steering wheel and had that, that was fucking pretty bad. knot on the head. That was a bad Better not mention that again. And that we, fucking kid wasn't even driving. The mother was driving. So how bad of a fucking parent I'm pretty is she? sure she went into the wall. Yeah. And Straight ahead, ahead. Bounced right off the steering wheel. And it probably missed the pad and hit the fucking. Oh, yeah. The kid got it the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Safety first. The best was when we went up to the go-kart track in the Dells. And uh, I think this is when everyone had their crotch rocket. So there's probably like 13 of us. With crowd trackets that we all drove up there, so we all get in line for the go karts, and we're all wearing our our crotch rocket helmet helmets, still. and they're like, "Oh Jesus Christ, this is gonna be fun." Yeah, no, we didn't go for very long. They no. kicked us off quick. All right, someone actually it. like hit the wall and went sideways, and someone like hit the side of them, and was just like, bah, 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 <laughs> just like scooting them, them down, just, just scooting them down this oval turn. Oh shit. <laughs> Going downhill. So, yeah, I just want to be able to drive, like, the Hurricane and, like, the Hellcat on, like, a track where, like, it's got a quarter mile straight away where you could open it up and, like, you know, especially coming out of a turn, you're already doing, like, you know, 30, 40 to be able to stick it and, and get that thing up to, like, 150, I'm in, 160. Bro. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm getting old. Anything What's that can get my testosterone pumping. pumping. What's the I'm insurance? In <laughs> I don't know. It, it, yeah, it's two hundred to drive the car, but what else do you gotta pay? Well, it's probably two with the insurance included. I would think. Yeah, I would you, say you those cars. You can sign a waiver sure. that says if you die. Ask Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin, why would happen with him? You fucked up a car and had to pay for it. Remember that? Do you remember that car? It was one of six, and slid it right into a fucking wall at a photo shoot. Wow. Well, yeah, but he rented that for... No, it was for the company. It was like Ferrari had him out there. It was like for a movie it, because the car was going to well, be in a movie. fucked up hiring him. Yeah. And he hit the brake and it just slid right into the fucking wall. Well, that's probably better for people who own it because now they have a one of five car. Right. Even rarer. Even <laughs> <laughs> True. <They just> <laughs> the, they're all like, fuck yeah, I just up my value. No, you just went up big time. <laughs> 
Uh, I do want to get an older car though, or something, and start fixing it up and having something a weekend driver again that we could take out to the tracks or to the you know racetracks, Elkhart Lake, some different things. Yeah, you could just do more with a car. Like I got that the Honda Grom. It's like a pit bike slash crotch rocket, and it's fun, but you're kind of limited. You know, you can. Yeah. It's a small ass bike. It's fun just riding around by yourself. But when your lady gets on it, yeah, you know, it's not the it's not the same. Ideal. Plus, no one else has one, and no one else wants to ride with me because well, the like, dirt bike, this little toy, the 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 <laughs> Polini, you can get fixed up. It looks like uh, I I don't know why you don't just throw a different motor in it, but maybe I will. I one mean, day, we'll see. You should get it ready before this spring. Maybe I will. Four or five. Maybe months. that'll be my weekend project. There you go. The Polini. You're not a Supra? You're not going to get a Supra and fix nah, it up? I can't afford one. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. <laughs> Want me to He's pop got the two hood? Supras. He doesn't need another one. Yeah. Right? I got two in the garage. Is that what you get told? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All we got to do but is you know what? What you like want to spend on a Supra, we, we've talked about that. Like, what you want to spend on a Supra and how expensive they are, it's ridiculous right now. The market is just through the roof. No, yeah, 100%. What no. you could buy is like a twenty thousand dollars sick ass badass Chevelle or something that you love. Oh, Chevelle! But you just gotta, you know. So you can send the pain below. Yeah, exactly. I'm talking about the car right now. Too. There you go. Just start trading up and trade <laughs> trade your. Yeah, just keep trading up. Yeah, That's fine. trade your Chevelle up until you get a Supra. It could happen. Start with the red. Isn't it the red yeah? And paper? I'm a Japanese jet pilot. <laughs> <laughs> red paper clip. You don't want to be a Japanese jet pilot. They crash into shit. Kamikaze, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what was the pilot's name? Wong Wei. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There's some picture. <laughs> One of those, like, uh, truthers or whatever. Mm-hmm. They were talking about uh, when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. They had a map, and it was, like, laid flat, and they had Japan. And then she drew a line all the way across to Hawaii and said, there's no way they flew this far. <laughs> well, maybe they went the other way, lady. Right. <laughs> they didn't fly across Asia no. and Africa. Flat Earth, bro. <laughs> well, it's yeah. Only one, it's it's a Earth, one way. Technically, yeah. If it's flat Earth, they would have had to, right? Right. Fly all the way across. But they went the other way. Yeah, because they're smart. When they went up, they were like, all right, left or right. It's a big decision here. But these are the people arguing with people on the internet. It's, it's like Some the ladies old... out there like, there's no way they flew this far. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we're trying to talk about like finding time to hang out and do stuff on the weekends and, and cars and video games. And it's like people have time to sit around and just bullshit and comment on pictures of the internet. That's, what is this? That's like the lady that called the cops on the deer time. crossing. They never yeah. cross at the deer crossing. They cross everywhere else. Why do they put the deer crossing? It's a caution, at, bitch. At uh, busy sections of the road, they're like, wait a minute, do you seriously think that that's where they're supposed to cross? <laughs> right. Well, we put the sign up for the deer to come here to cross. You didn't know that, lady? Yeah. That's what that's what that's what this whole sign is for. Unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. I loved it. I loved it. These are the people we're dealing with. Welcome to America. Yeah, America, 2020. Someone's blowing in the back of my neck. Ooh. Can't, can't tell that Kayla's had a couple cocktails tonight. Uh, How's that? Uh, I don't know one. Uh, Let me get another bottle of wine out of here. I'll just grab the whole case. Fuck it. He didn't tell me there was reds and I'm going to just take this 17. You're, you're going to watch motocross with a whole case I know, of reds? I know that I'm yeah, number one. I don't think your straw is going to fit in that bottle, honey. I'm going to try. It's going to fall in the bottle. <laughs> Oh, my God. Or there you can just goes. grab your glass right there. That's mine, guys. All mine. <laughs> That's all mine. Vert your eyes. <laughs> She's staying home with me. Look at her go. I'll take this Easy, glass. It doesn't look like it's dirty. I think this is the first time we've done the podcast where you're more fucked up than me. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to neither. That tells you how not fucked up I am. Oh, uh, wow. Wow, bro. Wow. Don't fucking give me that look. This is your spot? Wow. Oh, Jesus. I'm borrowing it. Bye, honey. Oh, we didn't even know you were here. Quiet as a church mass. 
Peep, peep. The whoa, gentleman's whoa, den is getting hell just I don't know what you just did, but you're taking out. You're yeah, taking out. Don't wiggle that cord on the back of that TV, please. How dare you. Wiggle it. You're just shut the TV off. Oh, just my God. Just a little bit. Just leave it alone. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Frankie said, Frank, Frankie said he couldn't feel his face or his legs earlier. Frankie, If Frankie takes his glasses off right now, you can really see the stroke eye. Mm. Oh, my eyes are closed. <laughs> I've been sleeping this whole time. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, that's why I've been falling into this table, trying to stay up. He's been holding the table down. Am I falling out of this chair? <laughs> but yeah, I like to I like to feel good, okay? Yeah, that's fine, bro. No By judgment the way, here. you're judging. I feel good. Getting rid of plastic straws isn't going to save shit. What do you mean? They, st- they still have plastic Six pack holders. I don't think they're trying to save shit. I think they're trying to save turtles. No. Toidles. They what about the hair? turtles either? What about the hair? <laughs> disco, disco, good. Isn't good. Budweiser coming out with like a six pack holder? Seltzer. Like turtle food. Turtle food, huh? It's made of like biodegradable, like turtles can't eat it. Shut the fuck up. Let's talk about a marketing strategy. Those guys, they got some real geniuses there. It's That's like an hit. idea I would have came I mean, up with. Not? You guys would have told me I'm fucking dumb. No. You're just high. I, I've been, always like, thought they should have had Frankie. something like that. Good huh? idea, Frankie. Now put the pro- it in. The pro- he actually put it into place. Yeah. <laughs> just like the guys that built that ship to clean up that plastic island. I don't know how to make fucking turtle food, okay? I wish I did. I wish someone taught me how to make turtle food when I grew up, but... Well, there's this, there's this awesome biologist. new invention. It just came out, like, I don't know, uh, 40 years ago called the Internet. You can fucking look anything up. I don't know how to use it. <clears throat> yes, we know. Forward. I think the internet's Dude, the devil. Pump the brakes, man. You were just you're fucking Turkish it's my cab last driver. Night. I'm you're fucking, Turkish cab yeah, driver we're going right now. All out, bro. I'm. Just, you know what? Let me let me just pay the way. <laughs> He's fucking eyeing fucking me over Tur- here. Like Turkish see. cab drivers right now, just smoking like they're <laughs> fucking savages. Well, you this can is enjoy the last, the last hurrah, time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. <laughs> what is going so, on over there? I'm fucking feeling Explain real it. good. <laughs> I can tell. That was the ooh. congratulations to Illinois joining the weed party. So you got Illinois and Michigan, uh, Minnesota's and we're like medical the fucking sandwich in between. We're like the meat and the I marijuana think sandwich. We are gonna be. Like, uh, Indiana will fall before we will, is what it feels like. Will fall. Probably. They got gambling, right? Gambling and fireworks. They're already ahead of us. Yeah, they got sports sports gambling apps. I can't even get good fireworks around here. That's one thing I'm upset about. Sports gambling was legal. I was super excited, but you have to go to a window at a casino to place a bet. You can't do it on your phone. Which is really unfortunate because be that confident you'll go. No, I understand, or but like find a if I get home from work and I see a game on and get I'm just bookie. like, oh. just just, yeah, just use mybookie.com. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can't use the internet. It's paparazzi in here taking pictures taking of me. Pictures, dude. She can't. She doesn't understand how to shut the fucking shutter sound noise. Off on her phone. <laughs> 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 Christ, ladies, please. The hell was that noise? It sounded like a fucking air horn just went off. And it was like almost out of air. Right. That was just like the last. The end. The last. The last of, uh, <laughs> The fucking end of it. It's over, Rock. It's over. Nothing's over. All right. Super Bowl predictions. We got Baltimore. Baltimore. Baltimore and the Taints. Baltimore and the Saints. Who wins? Baltimore. I think Baltimore is just too much. I think Baltimore, that fucking triple tight end set they run is going to I don't know. Be... You know what makes me nervous is that Lamar Jackson and... What the fuck? I'll bet you $100 Green Bay does not make it to the Super Bowl. I'll take that bet, too. I bet you you're a cute puppy. They do. Oh, shit. You can't have a dog, so I don't give a shit. Well, I mean, what would they have to put up for you to put up the pup? You know what I mean? They'd have to put they up don't up. have enough. They don't have money. enough. Would you bet the pup on it? What would it take for me to bet the pup on it? Me not. Are you that confident? Me not ever having to work again is what it would take for me oh, to bet the pup man. on it. That's crazy. That's that is, love, though. That's, yeah. that's love. It's a puppy's love. That's your baby Yoda. What's love got to do? 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe in 14 years, come talk to me, and then I'll uh, change my mind. Going to a better place there, Chug. <laughs> As he's passed the folk out. Done, son. I Frankie am... wanted to pass out last night playing zombies. I wouldn't let him stay up. Stay I was up, trying. Up. I swear to God, I fell asleep. We never get to do this. You we're... stay up. So we're skipping Florida fuckery this week because it is a new year, and they're really... I didn't see anything worthwhile to talk All about. Oh, nothing happened on New Year's? Yeah. <laughs> it was quiet I, in Florida. I All was they, quiet. They keep it together. All was <laughs> One quiet. Night they, uh, uh, they want to start the first week off right. Yeah. You know? All right, Let's everyone, not end up can, in the fucking fuckery show again. Everyone this keep their composure for at least, you know, like uh, maybe a solid week. That's yeah, all right. You know, there's always fucking Ohio. <laughs> Florida or Ohio. Love that show. Any Wisconsin, Wisconsin fuckery. Right? I can't uh, Oh, see yeah. It. A guy in Burlington broke into a house and sucked someone's toes. I saw that post today. Fuck yeah. And they say fucking weird people are in Florida or Ohio. Check right. out the toe suckers here chivalry in Wisconsin. Is, chivalry's dead. Right. I beg to yeah. differ, who's, ladies. <laughs> whose toes was, was this person sucking, though? Did he go in there and there's like some fucking dude I built like know, me bro. laying with his feet hanging off the bed and just... Some of what are you people, doing if like, some dude sucking your toes when you wake up? Kicking him directly in the fucking face. Right in the <laughs> mouth. And then proceeding to finish the job while he's on the ground. Let him finish your toes while he's I on was going to say, man. What how many toes? Job? How many times you get your toes your sucked? Job My job. job. <laughs> Jumping on his head finish like a trampoline. Finish the job. Lick <laughs> this toe, <laughs> bitch. Flattening <laughs> his fucking head. Man, there's some weird shit. Like, people, like, break in. Brave fucking people, man. <laughs> Someone will come home from work and some guy's butt naked on their couch drinking beer. He's getting shot at my house. What's Just up? Saying. <laughs> Dude, you almost get shot at your own house. Yeah, that's true, too. I I don't. I get scared walking in my own house sometimes. Like, no bullshit. You got to announce yourself. Hey. Yeah, I do every time I walk in. It's like name, rank, serial me. number. It's me. Yeah. Don't shoot. <laughs> I slide my ID Fucking across bullet the floor holes. so your dad can check it. <laughs> All right, it's you. You may enter. All the camera systems are going to be like face recognition. Put your fingerprint here. <clears throat> you well, know you still haven't seen Zombie Land. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm wondering where a couple of pistols are hidden in the house. I haven't seen them in a while. Check the back of the toilet. Right? Some duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case they try to catch me on the shitter. Yeah. Got to be prepared. <laughs> Flops out. Yeah, right. Did you see the Kevin Hart new stand up or whatever? I didn't no, watch it. No. He had a bit about that because uh, someone broke into his house. So he said he was going to hide guns around the house and stuff. But he's like, then you got to be in like that area. So he's like, some burglar comes in, freeze, give me all your money. He's like, can I like check my laundry first? Because <laughs> yeah. he's got a gun like in the laundry room. Right. <laughs> I'll give you the money after we go to the yeah. laundry room. That's why you guys got to be like, I keep all the money in the laundry room. Yeah. It's, it's in the detergent. <laughs> well, that's why I got the one in the nightstand. And then the but what if you're not at the nightstand? Right. Most likely. If, if you, you wake up and someone's sucking your toes, it's convenient. But what if you're on the mo- shitter? Most likely, most break-ins may happen between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. He's done his research and knows that's those dude. Five no, times. listen. Listen to any radio show and the stupid fucking ads for like Simply Safe come on. See, out. that's where people fuck yeah. up. You break in during, the, during day the day when day you're at work. work, right in broad Shame. daylight. No one's that crazy. That's why social media. You're not supposed to post when you go on vacation because mm-hmm. the burglars are like, Psh, they gone. Right. <laughs> oh, ten days in Mexico. Yeah, I got look ten at us fucking robbing days. The beach, drinking my ties. Like, yeah, I'm gonna rob this beach. Oh, yeah. Man. Little do they know is I post the pictures after I get back. Right. Christmas time, too. You're supposed to, like, discard all your garbage. Right. You don't want to have a big fucking TV box I know, <laughs> outside for the garbage man to pick up some burglar drives two kids by. that well, I went to school with. They got a 65-inch Samsung. Did you see the uh, UPS driver, what he did? Mm-mm. Brought the new TV box, put it behind the garbage cans, put the garbage cans in front of it, put some garbage on top of the box, then left because no one was home. Nice. See? And that was all on their Simply Safe camera. Jesus. Fucking savages. What's up with those box? A lot of box thief, too, man. They'll just come to your front door and steal your package. Like, what the Dude, fuck is this world please, coming to? Please do. Because you're going to steal something very stupid. Right. Thanks, guy. Did you see the guy who Fanny made a fucking. Uh, a 
a glitter bomb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy that is a, awesome. He put a package on his front porch, and they took it, and then it like starts recording. So he's got four iPhones in this thing. It's motion activated. And then when you open the box, it just shoots all this fucking glitter out. It's like a bouncing Betty, but glitter. Yeah. And then it spins, and he's got two fart sprays hooked up. So it just sprays this nasty-ass nasty smell. fart smell. That's what they get, though. <laughs> so they get them on camera. Covered in Turn glitter. Turn them in. Farts. Covered in glitter. <laughs> <laughs> glitter and farts. How low do you got to be to steal someone else's fucking package? Right. Dude, how low do you got to be to be one of them fucking asshole parents that go to the trick-or-treater's house and they got the bowl out there and says, take one, and they take the whole fucking bag of candy? I mm. understand if you're a kid by yourself. No, but when you are got your four-year-old out Kids there trick-or-treating... And yeah. you're the fucking parent, and you say, oh, take one? Okay, I'll take one full fucking bag. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're fat-ass. People are greedy. Let's not talk about any greedy. food or candy right now. I'm a little got the munchers. Oh, I got candy galore. Oh! I'm going to go rob that Halloween candy. You should. Kids don't need it. No, you shouldn't. I'm going to. Take all the Skittles out. Oof. They've already been taken out. Yeah, Weiss was <laughs> on there right away. He's like, pfft. He's got his own secret stash. I do. I had to hide it. I bet. Didn't Bottom the, of the fucking laundry hamper, so no one. Didn't the boys take all the fucking tropical ones away or whatever it was? No, they took some Skittles to school, but I had reserves. They knew right I already went bat. through the basket. Don't worry. I got my own As soon candy. as they fell asleep, I was on <laughs> I Skittle I got my patrol. own candy supply. I'm surprised that you weren't at Target the 26th of fucking December and just scooping up all the Skittles candy canes. For a, a dollar Skittle a piece. candy canes. I bought a yard, a yard of Skittles. Three feet, what eh? The fucking yard is. Yeah, it comes in a big three-foot box. <laughs> oh, yeah, they had the M&Ms like that, too. Yeah, so I bought a whole yard. Did you eat it already? Yeah, it's gone. Wow. Yeah, he, he bought that last week, No, we, uh, the boys got, a, like, a Skittles dispenser. It's basically for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> So, so you got they got the new game that you're playing, zombies. They got this this Skittle dispenser that's for you. What other gifts did you get yourself for Christmas? Well, the one thing I'm not going to be using is the e board. No, <laughs> that, that little well hoverboard thing. Yeah, but they were called e boards. They don't mm. hover. All right, whatever. They don't hover. They got wheels. All right. It's a fucking until they hover, yeah. just shut the fuck up. Why is it so hot in here? <laughs> It's just always me. hot in here. Yeah, it's fucking warm in here. I can't lie to you. That's fine. I'm sweating. It's all right. We the got 20 minutes left. The oh, the only 20 minutes, in. eh? <laughs> I won't get on that e-board, man. i seen too many, too many. As soon as I saw stories. Mike Tyson eat shit on one of those, I'm out, bro. When I asked Jeff if he tried it, he's like, I don't got insurance right the now. The greatest <laughs> video I've ever seen. If you got some time, go on YouTube. Darth Vader hoverboard. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he catches the couch. It's only a five-second video, but it is fucking hilarious i laugh every time i see every it. time especially when they put the imperial march music behind it <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> just eats <Wham>. shit. <laughs> they get those new uh skateboards coming out called summer boards like snowboarding but it's got a it's got two middle wheels and looks fucking awesome but i would die on one yeah how do you work on that fucking crazy board that jeff's the boys got to wear the fuck they're called ripstick i fucking yeah, ripped stick. it <laughs> Oh, you I, ripped it. I yeah, ripped you, it. Yeah, you ripped your groin muscle off the bone. <laughs> I made it all the way down the driveway. You did good. You did good. That was Those one toys time. are dangerous. They are, man. They like put well, kids on these. Well, they're not built for adults. They're not built for anybody. No. Yeah. Anybody over five foot eight. You're well, even a, anyone fifty pounds overweight. Even yeah. a skateboard. I mean, I wasn't the greatest skateboarder known to man, but I was on a skateboard not too long ago, and it just it felt foreign to me right i was like what is this so when we go snowboarding it's gonna feel a little snowboarding's different Eh? like the skateboard i was on the trucks were not tight this (laughs) thing was loose (laughs) as fuck you better have your binding set right i got my binding set right no you don't your bindings are on my board (laughs) right now yeah they're set right for me yeah perfect (laughs) all the snowboarding gears at my house that thing was cool man my buddy's brother had uh, one of those long boards with the the controller, the switch you had in yeah, your hand. Yeah, I want to try one of those. You don't even have to fucking pedal Fuck anymore. Fuck that, man. That's so dangerous still, I feel like. I feel like that other one, your feet are at least locked in. The one you were showing me looks way more fucking dangerous. But your feet are locked in like a snowboard. That's so even worse. Yeah, that's even worse when you fall. 
That's why fucking snowboards are worse than skis, because you are locked into the board. Skis unlock and go flying. So if you do tumble down the hill, I not to get, get saying, fucking impaled. But, yeah, you <laughs> shit whip. Uh, I don't know. I feel like for sure I'm falling off a long board. Once it gets up to 50, like 25 miles an hour, I'm probably going to jump well, you off. You don't have to go that fast. Speed wobbles. Jesus yeah, you, once I get those speed wobbles, I'm bailing. Right, you better walk Start rolling that. down the windows. Yeah. Like the day before you're gonna take it out, you walk the whole path and with like and just sweep the sweep. path. <laughs> Make sure I'm going to work tomorrow. Stones. I gotta yeah. sweep this. Yeah. <laughs> one one Cheerio <laughs> takes you out. Yeah, you're done, so. Yeah, that thing looked badass though. Yeah, it looks like it'd be fun if if like like I said, if I were to try it, I'm wearing like a full suit of knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards. And you're still gonna break something. I probably would. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna end up landing on your tailbone. That's what I was gonna say. I'd wear one of those like giant fucking ass pads. Yeah, just get one of those booty pops from the infomercials. That's what I'm saying. Like, snowboarding, you feel like when you're going to fall, it doesn't hurt. It's snow, but it fucking does still. Yeah, because it's packed down. It's basically falling on cold concrete. Yeah, but I slide. Well, you can slide on concrete, too. Yeah. I'd rather, yeah. Snowboarding, for sure, is the easiest one. Yeah. Falling-wise. So I think I think I asked this. Was this something of the stupid things we were talking about last night? If you could pick one, you're gonna do surfing, skateboarding, or or so, snowboarding. You're a professional. Like professional. Yes, yeah. you're a professional, It'd be and that's your for sure. snowboarding. Yeah. What was it again? Surfing, skating, or snowboarding. To be a professional. Yep. Do that every day for work. Skate. You want to skate? Yeah, because you can. There's so many more options. Fuck. Uh, that's a whole lot of concrete that's gonna hurt. Fuck that. You see them fucking guys? There's like there's plenty 37 of snowboarders flights are, of stairs. Yeah, I'm not doing plenty that. Plenty of snowboarders that are shit whipped the fuck out of themselves, too. I'm falling on snow. I ain't fucking with sharks. See, that's yeah, another thing, too. Yeah, I was out at the surfing. I would love to do the surfing because you're in paradise surfing every day. Looks, yeah, it looks great. Just, you got a fucking killer tan. <laughs> yeah, you could get a killer you're tan skating. up in that risk. Too. Right. Like, I want to go surfing just one time, and I'm scared of the risk. Like, well, what if that's the time? You're not a very strong swimmer, either. Yeah, I am. Like When's the last time you swam? Two years ago in Macau. Yeah, but even as a professional, you do it every day. So right. Wait a minute. Enough. We're just saying if two, we were a professional. Two, time out. Two years ago on the boat, you went to the rock bar and stood there. That's not swimming. That's standing no, in a we lake. We go to the deep ends and throw, jump out and swim, and then I sit on a floaty afterwards. Yeah, I as soon as like, I jump out, I'm like two seconds in. I'm like, throw me a noodle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, do you remember swimming out to the fucking Aquanaut ramp when you were yeah, a kid? Yeah, no. Fuck no. I fucking was dying back then. Um, Dunn Lake. I swam across Dunn Lake and uh, off the chain. I yeah. knew a dude that lived on there, and we were swimming. He's like, oh, I swim across it all the time. <laughs> Fuck that. Are you serious? <laughs> so you did it? Yeah, with a life jacket on. He Boy, did. Oh, yeah, life jacket. He was dying. He was literally, I thought he was going to go down in the middle of the lake. Well, he then he stood up. up and realized it's only seven well, feet That's deep. the thing is there are some spots that you could stand and touch, but. But you got to know the. Yeah. You know the lake. The lake. You know, you got to be a real lakesman. But fuck that, dude. You know how far that was? Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it. Remember when we were in Mexico? And Even we went... across a pool right now is a risk for me. <laughs> yeah, you hit, you hit me anything over four feet, I'm in trouble. I'm going to start at the deep end and swim to the shallow end. After that's like 25 feet in Mexico and we hit that shelf, you're that's it. Well, that's a you're different done. beast because there's waves coming in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fuck with that shit. No, that was a, that was a pretty crazy experience. The Doing ocean is like one of those things that is so beautiful and scary, and so terrifying at the same so time. So terrifying. <laughs> That's why I think the greatest feeling I remember feeling like so like free and and scared at the same time was when we were on the cruise ship at night, looking out and seeing no land, the Black. stars is the only light you see, and you're just like, yeah. If you fall off the boat, you're dead. It, oh yeah. But, yeah. But like, just imagine like just being out there, even if you had a boat and you were just out there with like no gas or something. Like, it'd be so fucking scary. Or imagine being in the water out there. Yeah, I know. Stri- like, oh, my God. I'm no, so fucked no up. I'm too fucked up to be thinking about shit like this. I'm giving myself anxiety. No one's going to fucking find your ass. No. That's that's worse than a needle in a haystack. At least you're going to get <laughs> poked by the needle. There's nothing I'm doing to get any kind yeah, of attention. No. You could be flying by on a boat or a fucking helicopter, plane, whatever. I'd be fucking screaming. You ain't hearing me. Fucking ocean. Fucking ocean scary, bro. What's more scary though, ocean or space? Ocean. Uh, well, there's nothing really 
Do you, know that? Had the proper Do you know that? That there's nothing in space? Wow. Well, Do you know that? I don't. You know what would be Mr. awesome? Cosmos? You know what would be awesome? How, how'd he die in space? Oh, he got killed by a bolt traveling 300 miles an hour that shot through his head. Right. Yeah, through his skull. I mean, there's a million things that's scary. And, and, I mean, I don't know. We're definitely not I wouldn't want to go. There's just too much shit. To, that's why I don't even really like, uh, like airplanes and shit. Like if you're driving and your car starts puttering and you got to go to the side of the road, you're safe. Yeah. You know, Plain <laughs> something happens putting. in the middle of the air or out. Could you were imagine you an scared? outer space? Were you scared when we were going on that small plane to Mexico and all the turbulence? It was my first plane ride, so I thought it was normal. But everyone else I was, was pretty, petrified I was and pretty crying. Chill, but yeah, it was it was fucking bad. It like your uncle had been driving for, or flying for twenty five years. He said it was the worst turbulence he's ever experienced. Yeah. The way I see it is this. If it's my time to fucking go, it's my time to go. Dude, people were crying and praying and like, I was sitting there like, you know, when you watch a movie and you see the turbulence and they're like, (laughs) I thought that's just normal. That just happens. You're in the air fucking floating. I I wouldn't do that on that chair ever again. (laughs) (laughs) But that's what it was like. We were all over the place and I thought it was just normal turbulence and everyone was like, holy shit, I thought that was it. So my mom was on a flight. I believe coming back from Vegas or going to Vegas. Either way, it's one of those flights. And they're taking off, and all of a sudden, they're, I don't know, fucking 100 feet in the air, and they have to fucking bank super hard because another plane was coming in. Oh, traffic oh, controller oh, fucked up. So, yeah, they uh, got my. John Candy, it was a fly. I think I got my brown pants on. <laughs> yeah, that'd be one of those oh shit moments. Just think yeah. of all the people that had no idea. The captain's like, the pilot's like, fuck. That could have been it. I uh, I always thought you were going to start doing the mall rats thing. So the hydraulics shut off on the plane, and my cousin <laughs> just pulled his dick out and started beating it. This so, is it. So everybody else started taking cube, pulling out their whatevers and what have you. Miraculously, it levels out. All of a sudden, hydraulics <laughs> kick back in. <laughs> plane levels out. They all land safely. Everybody puts their pieces away, and no one ever talks about it again. No. Well, did he come? Some things you don't talk about in public, Gil. <laughs> Such a great fucking movie. I wish there was some new movie. Oh, God. Why are we not talk about this yet? Have you seen the preview for The Gentleman? Uh, yes, I did. I'm excited to go see that. I'm excited for any Guy Ritchie movie. Right? I'm still excited to go see fucking Star Wars, boys. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, the last couple of Guy Ritchie movies. Well, Guy Ritchie technically directed Aladdin, so. We're good. He's got a light over there. Aladdin Give me the lighter. and uh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood, I think, was pretty good. The newer one, with right? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Was it? Yeah. it lasted two days in the theater and was <laughs> on HBO the next I know, day. but I actually watched it. I didn't think it was that bad. Like, it was okay. It wasn't that bad, but it's just, I don't know. People just ain't into Robin Hood. No, and they're just not into those kind of movies, I don't think, either, of, like, medieval times where it was, you know. Like, unless it's, like, I don't it's know, like, like Game 300 of Thrones. Or yeah, but 300. it's... It's just got to be done right. Yeah. Well, movies just got to be, it's got to be good. It has to be good. Well, neither of you have seen Zombieland 2 yet, and I've watched it about eight times already. Jesus It's Christ. fucking great. I haven't seen yeah. a lot of good movies lately. I yeah, mean, me either. You, you mentioned Star Wars. What else is coming out? We I did want to see the Mandela effect that just came out in uh, digital. We just we just uh, talked about was fuck. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Carry on, and I'm sober, boys and girls. Uh, oh. Well, there's a bunch of movies that are. I, I mean, I still want to go see the new Star Wars one. There's, I want to see. Uh, I mean, there's a fucking shit ton of good movies that are out. I want to go see. It's just that time thing, you know. Got to find the time to get together and go see it. And well, it was a pretty good show I just watched was The Witcher. I heard that was supposed that. to be good. I liked it. That was a video game first, right? And then a movie? It was a book. A book. A book. Then yeah. a video game, then a movie? Yeah. Well, it's yeah, a series. So. Ended on a cliffhanger. Now I gotta really? Wait. Now I got to wait till 2021, I think, is season two. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's what sucks about it, too. Is like I wish they would make, like, you know what I mean? Whatever, a 10-hour movie. And then just break it down into fucking, you know, four seasons right off the bat. And then if it's a really good show, then make another one. But it's hard to go back too. So I'm, I'm so used to watching Netflix shows that The Mandalorian is a weekly show. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I got into Game of Thrones, so that was weekly. But now I'm like all about Netflix now, so it's like now, now, now. now. Right. Well, you that's the problem is you, you get the binge watch. Right. And it's so great. the Mandalorian, I watch one episode, and I'm just wanting more. Like I could have watched this whole series three times. But that's what you got to do when shit like that. You just wait, you know, ten weeks or twelve weeks or whatever it is, and then you just watch it all together in a day and love it. There's a funny show I watched too. A new series on Netflix. Living with yourself. Oh, is that the Paul Rudd? Yeah, it was funny. It was really, really good. So check that out. I, I watched Benchwarmers too. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, I wouldn't have did that. I watched the preview and I said, "Not a fucking chance." This looked hey, fucking trash. made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, it, it sucks. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's it. it I'm it's sure it has much its, a pile of shit. I'm sure moments, it has its moments. Yeah. You know, it's like Dumb and Dumber too. <laughs> Right, horrible movie, but it was fucking. It had funny. moments, you know, funnel nuts. What a great. <laughs> Never played funnel nuts. <laughs> what a great fucking skit. Ouch. But yeah, it had its great moments and it had its shitty moments. I feel but like uh, such is life, right? This decade, we got a lot of stuff we need to start doing. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty, big things, right? Uh, uh, let's let's not forget that in eighteen twenty and nineteen twenty, there was two massive plagues. I don't think we got those figured out, though, let's, right? Let's hope. That was Super. back when they were writing with feathers and shit. Way to bring the fucking shit. podcast down. Hey, <laughs> do you remember, what, was the, what was that? Uh, do you remember what was that? Debbie Downer or whoever it was on Saturday Night Live when they went to... When it was the Lindsay Lohan episode and they went to fucking... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Disney? And they're all eating and she, the one lady's just like, You know what else is scary? Feline AIDS. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> just looking at Frankie. Mm. <laughs> Look at his face. You got to go slow. Get it slow. He dropped his cigarette on the ground. Get it. Get uh, it. Am I yeah, falling out of this chair? Don't get no idea, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to corrupt my young was son. That, was that on camera? Did you get that? Yeah. Should have got the lighter while I was down there. Shit. He's not exactly. Two birds one stone, but, you know. Two stone birds at once. Yeah, two I'm in the stoned. bush, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be your bush. I don't get that saying. One in the hands worth two in the bush. Yeah, to, to what? Testicles. Yeah. One in, in the hand is worth two in the bush. You want to know where that saying came from? Not really. Yeah, no, I do. No one does. That's why no one knows what it is. No, means. man, it was this <laughs> dude, right? And he was out in this forest, and he had one in his hand, and there was two in the bush. It's probably a pheasant hunting. Right, and he got bird, both of Some them. kind of bird hunting. Quail. If quail he got hunting. one in the Fuck's hand, and if, there's two in the bush. I don't even know what a fucking you, quail you, is. You, <laughs> something with some talent. There's two, in, there's two in the bush, and you don't have anything in your hand, or you have one in your hand, so you're leaving with something. Is it her bush? Right. I don't know. I'm confused. Basically, be thing. grateful for what you got. All right. We didn't talk about them in depth. What are the resolutions this year? I'm uh, quitting smoking this. Cigarettes for sure. I want to lose um, 50 pounds. Pop. And, you better uh, not quit smoking then. Pop and energy drinks. I haven't had an uh, energy drink. That's really good, actually, for you. And then you I'm going to start working out horrible. again. So I got three, bro. Yeah, I got some big things. I'm going to hammer them down. Uh, mine is to get this tooth yanked out of my fucking face. And then uh, just keep making this podcast better every fucking week. So we do. You know what I mean? Boop. And I'm going to release some more merch soon. That merch. Goals. Pound sign goals. And Jeff's going to finish the Dixon Hard Cider logo. Yeah. Finish his dicks. <laughs> What's your resolution, Frank? You just quit and smoke it. Uh, like I said, I want to lose like 50 pounds. I want to turn all my energy from wanting to eat and stressing about quitting smoking, <laughs> turn that into like working out and losing oh, yeah. some weight. And um, no, I, I, get, I get some things. I've, I've been, not giving up Coke or uh, Cola? Nah, probably not. Okay. I don't know. I, I His have blood thing. type is fucking Coca-Cola. I think I was only going to try to drink a, a pop with meals and... Just drink water or, like, orange juice or some shit. I was only going to try drinking a case a day. Yeah. You know, tone it down a little bit. But I got, uh, I got like, ideas and goals that I want to, like, hit. Like, well, I want to get some things worked out this year. I want to get a, a house. Probably want to get, like I said, a weekend car. I want to sell the boat. I want to, uh, you know, 
get the dirt bike fixed up and running right. Big things, bro. Yeah, do some trips, go to, uh, you know, race some cars, go to some racetracks, Elkhart Lake, go snowboarding this year. I got goals, man. Ooh, you know, 2020, too. big things. Damn, you, you can start 2020 off right with a nice little snowboard montage. Uh, I think we're going to go here in a couple of weeks. I was talking with uh, Nikki about it. And, I was going to uh, say, who, who's we? You got a mouse in your pocket? Yeah, well, there's some other people that want to go to. I'm sure you'd want to go before going away. For my birthday, I'm going to rent a cabin up at uh, probably Indian Head on the mountain and have a nice little weekend of getting super fucked up. I'm in for that. I know, it's kind of your birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> and yours. <laughs> yeah, right, since our birthdays are so close. If I buy myself a hotel, I do just say I bought it for us. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Sure. So yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about uh, the hotel. I got it. Well, yeah, like I said, gotta save up some money because uh, good old Christmas came through, yeah. and uh, you know Santa don't pay the electric bills. Just start uh, <laughs> start stripping on the weekends or something. I have to. You know, go that's why I'm gonna start working out again. Right. With that so mustache you, go. you got going there, dude. That's a nice mustache. You can offer free must. You can offer five dollar mustache rides. I would totally be your Huckleberry. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Just don't fight any windmills, Don Quixote. No, never. Oh! Stay away. Stay away from the windmills. I feel like the wheels are just getting put on this motherfucker. I'm about to get fucked up and party. It's feeling like that kind of night. You ready to go, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. It's New Year. I mean, it's kind of early. I got, I got my buzz back. We just watch football. Let's get all fucked right. up and uh, what's a go? A supercross. Go watch some uh, dirt bikes upstairs. Verp, verp. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, dude, I like I slept all day. We were up late. I fucking got I got it in this morning. I slept till about probably like one, two o'clock. I was surprised because normally my girlfriend, like if I stay up all night and play video games, right, and then I go to she knows because she's like, "What time did you come to bed?" I'm like four in the morning. She's like four, uh, and then it's seven a.m. Get oh, up, yeah, get up, do this. But she. uh she was gentle Ooh. on me today. She let me sleep in a little bit. Well, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. And on that note, <laughs> let's start the year. That was one in the hand. One in the hand. That was, that yeah. was, that was, that's the only one he's going to get this year. Yeah. So he used his fucking get out of jail free card real early. Get it out of the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Use my lifeline too early. <laughs> I'll get you out of some trouble. Got it, bro. Yeah, you say that all the time. <laughs> I'll get you into some trouble. <laughs> That's more. That sounds more accurate. Yeah. You're always getting me out of it because you're the one that got me into it. You fuck. <laughs> That's what friends are for, bro. You know what I mean? I'm there. I'm there through thick and thin, eh, beginning touche. to end. Touche. Ride or die, bro. Ruining, ruining relationships one bad text at a time. Patching them back up. I, th- I like a challenge. <laughs> well, happy New Year to everybody out there. Hopefully Make this you got some uh, sweet resolutions, and hopefully stick to uh, them. you stick to them and get them done. And stay strong. We're with you. Yeah, you want to know? We're with you. We're with you. We are. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> you might be an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> well, for the first podcast of the new year, 2020, for Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean, and for Stu. Thank you all very much for listening and for on YouTube for watching. We'll be back next week with another titling edition of The Gentleman's Den. Once again, this podcast was brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all your Gentleman's Den merch needs. Once again, that is shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen what's a hyphen dan a hyphen's a dash if you're too stupid to realize it Woo. that's fake